From the enchanting city of Edinburgh to the magical sights of Harry Potter, an almost mysterious atmosphere of the highlands and the olive sky, Scotland is a dreamer's paradise waiting for you to discover and explore. Join us as we show you the best way to see Scotland. Our five-day trip in Scotland started in its beautiful capital, Edinburgh. Click the link on the upper right corner of the screen for our first exciting day in Edinburgh. Hi guys! And we're driving today to the Highlands and Isle of Skye. <laughs> My daughter is driving the car. <laughs> I was scared. Was scared. Uh, no. I'm, I'm fine. No, like it's on the right side but it should be okay. Going for our next roundabout. All you gotta do is look right. Cars on the left will wait. Let's go that way. Straight. Alright. Success second roundabout. <laughs> So we're stopping here to get some food. It's an upscale Scottish country clothing store, but they have food. Mm, you don't really get cheesecake for breakfast in the morning, but this is really good. Uh, nice to meet you, Angela. Nice to meet you yeah. too. We're going to the Isle of Skye. So. Oh, that's a beautiful place. So we just passed the city of Inverness and uh, we're heading to the castle now. Wow. Such a stunning view of the lake and the castle. Founded in the 13th century, Orkhart, which is now a ruined castle, played a role in the wars of Scottish independence in the 14th century. Today, the castle provides one of the best viewpoints for Scotland's most famous lake, Loch Ness. Unfortunately, we did not see Nessie during our visit. It's nice here. What do you think? It was worth driving three hours from Edinburgh to here and the price 14 something for adult. It's worth it. Now we're gonna drive to Alindunan Castle, another castle, from one castle to another before we check in our hotel in Slagakan. So we're here at the island Dunnan Castle. It's 4.30 already and I don't think we have enough time to explore the inside of the castle. So we're just gonna take pictures here. There's a parking space here. But you gotta pay if you stay more than 15 minutes. So we're just gonna take pictures and videos. The first fortified castle was built in the mid 13th century and was rebuilt as the feudal history of Scotland unfolded through the centuries. We're heading now to our hotel to check in and slag again. This is so beautiful here, oh my goodness. It's so beautiful, but yeah, there's no elevator. Is there an elevator? Is there no, no, right? No. no. hotel room it's so cozy and moody let's see the view you can see the mountain range outside of the outside of the window and you can also see the bridge the swig can bridge over there oh wow it's nice all right See how pretty the room is? They gave us some chocolate. Little things, you know, it uh, puts a smile on your face. Coffee, tea, milk, cookies. Heading to dinner. Click the link on the upper right corner of the screen for our Scottish food tour. That was a lovely dinner. Good night and see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good morning everyone! Breakfast was included in our stay here in Schlagaken Hotel. So today we're gonna be exploring Portree and then we're gonna try to hike the old mine-up store. So there's a small parking area where the viewing point is for the colored row houses but it's full right now around this time so we drove around and we found this spot here, this parking lot. It's where the 
information center is and it's just a walking distance you just have to pay there's a metered parking and here's the view wow If you want to take a boat tour. This is a single track road for one mile passing lane. They have to wait. We can't help it. We have to stop over here. You're going to see the old man of store. Starting my hike here. Hello ladies! Hi. Hi. There's lots of ups and downs. So far it's manageable. But how can you not love this? The view! It's so stunning. Another gate, second gate. Welcome to my park! <laughs> So we've hiked an hour already, so at this point, I'll be the one to go up. It's really a steep climb there and some really rocky uh, pathway and steps. So Lion and Cat will just go back to the parking lot. Did you enjoy? Yes, I sure did. <laughs> That's the parking lot over there. The wind is picking up and it's much colder here. It's almost there. Almost there. It's either I can continue on for a few more minutes or just more steps to climb or just stay here. This is good enough for me. We have to go back to the highlands and hopefully we can explore Glencoe today enjoying the view right behind me I know my quads is gonna complain later but it's worth it I'm fully covered it's uh, cold and windy but I'm sweating inside <laughs> all right I'm back down here at the parking lot my advice dress up in layers good footwear take the left path going up right path going down from the olive sky we drove about three hours to the Glencoe Valley of the Scottish Highlands If you have a hard time looking for the Coos here in the Highlands from A87 turning right to A82 so it's just at the junction look at that sign and that's the farm There is really no parking spot here that's a road there so just make sure you, you park way on the side our first stop in the Glencoe Valley is the visitor center which among other things has the viewpoint of the mountains and the turf house which shows how people lived in the 17th century along this beautiful stretch of A82 highway is the road facing mountain peaks together known as the three sisters Then our third stop, which can also be seen from the road, is Lac Aktriokhtan. With this scenic lake, the river that flows under the bridge and the beautiful cottage wonderfully positioned is an amazing place not to be missed in the Glencoe Valley. Then we drove northwest about 50 minutes, passing through the city of Fort William to the Glenfinnan Viaduct. Built in the 1890s, this railroad viaduct was the first structure in Britain to be built with mass concrete. And this has been made iconic by the Harry Potter franchise. So from the viaduct, we walk back to the visitor center and there's a sign for the Glenfinnan view uh, behind the visitor center. It's a five minute uphill walk. It's uh, somewhat steep, but it's really short, but you'll be rewarded with this view. So the train would run, I guess, from Malig, from there, here to the viaduct and then to, to uh, Fort William. 
everything that we ate is so good from the fried rice to the Singapore noodles mm -hmm. to the Sour sweet fish. and sour fish, salt and pepper chicken and even the soup. Everything is delicious. Is, I didn't expect this to be this good. this good here in Scotland. So I'm gonna finish my food and then we're gonna check in the hotel. Not bad <laughs> for three people. There is some micro fridge. Micro <laughs> they have lots of pillows. Good morning, Fort William. It's a beautiful morning here. Oh, there's a cemetery over there. There's Aldi over there. Oh, no, that's not Aldi, that's Lily. Good morning, everyone. Hey, did good morning. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. I slept like a log. So the hotel is really close to the Fort William train station. Today is the day that will take the Jacobite steam locomotive, popularly known as the Hogwarts Express, in the movie Harry Potter. Uh, that took Ron, Harry, of course, and Hermione to the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. But we're not going to the Hogwarts School. We're going to this town called Malay. It's a small town, probably a seaside town. This is it. Come aboard. We just left. <laughs> It's 12.30, we just got off the train here in Mali and the train will depart back to Fort William at 2.10. For our food review here, click the link in the upper right corner of the screen. Then we drove back to Edinburgh and spent two nights. Click the link on the upper right corner of the screen for our Edinburgh vlog part 2. If you find value with this content, please subscribe, like and comment and hit the notification bell for more of our amazing adventures. Thank you for watching. This is Lino and Lion.